Welcome back to Peel Senior Links, Aging in Peel, and we're carrying on in the studio with the, uh, the Volunteer MBC group, and we're just delighted to have two more guests with me right now. We have Pat across from me, and we have Betty to my left. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Pat, <coughs> if I can start with you, and looking at your hat, and I'm going to say, so you're retired, and that's a perfect hat. Yeah, I get into uh, a lot of activities uh, yeah, just to keep uh, uh, busy. Like the, the hat is involved with uh, the uh, Ice and Fly Fishing Club. Yes. And I so happen to have a, a brochure. We're giving a, a forum in uh, Burlington in a couple of weeks where we sh uh, show, pe ta ta uh, show people how to do mm -hmm. uh, uh, fly fishing. And the, the hat I use for uh, uh, shows. We show kids how to tie a fly. Yes. They sit down for a few minutes and we talk to them about conservation, preserving the fish and so on, and, and tying flies. And uh, yeah, th this morning, after a bit of work on the, uh, I'm the registrar for our uh, uh, forum, I went out in the garage and uh, worked on uh, building uh, birdhouses. That's to the Halton Peel Stewardship Council. Mm -hmm. I've got a school coming up uh, at the end of the month where we show uh, I, I prepare kits and then the uh, school kids uh, uh, using uh, power drills and screwdrivers and hammers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, put them all together and have a great time. And in the process, yeah. talking about birds and conservation and, and so on. And uh, then when I get too tired doing that, you're dealing with saws and so on, you don't want to get tired, I sit down and prepare fish for the uh, Credit Valley Conservation uh, Stream of Dreams program. Mm -hmm. That's where kids uh, paint a plywood fish in, in uh, bright colors, and then we wire these onto a chain link fence into a pattern, color coordinated, so you have a pattern going up around, you know, mm -hmm. 300 fish from mm -hmm. the whole school, in a pattern like that, and in the process, the same thing, uh, teaching the kids about conservation yes. and what happens when, uh, in, in the water cycle where the, where the uh, mm -hmm. water goes. So I would assume for some of these young people, this would be a first-time experience. Uh, yes, absolutely. You know, yeah, uh, fishing yeah. and putting a worm on a yeah, hawk. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. for some of these uh, city folks, they may not have the experience. Yeah, it, it, it's quite uh, uh, the, the, the look on the kids' faces when, when they're doing that. Hey, here's my fly. Uh, yeah. Or here, here's my, my uh, uh, birdhouse and my bird feeder. It, it uh, really is... Uh, uh, pays for all the effort. <laughs> so clearly you're very actively involved as a volunteer to say the least. What kind of time do you think that you're giving on average per week oh, as a volunteer? Uh, just about every spare minute I have, you know, uh, 10, maybe not 10, at least 8 hours. Uh, I, I like to do it because mm -hmm. I can, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe in a few years I won't be able to do this mm -hmm. anymore. So in addition to the two that you mentioned, I'm assuming you probably volunteer in other areas as well. Oh yeah, the uh, uh, Mississauga has a litter knot program. Yes. And I've adopted our, our local park, so just about every uh, weekend, uh, uh, except when there's uh, snow, uh, snow on the ground, mm -hmm. I go out and pick up the garbage. Mm -hmm. It's excellent exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are you engaging students in that activity? Are we seeing no, high school no, students just or my, younger? My local, just, that's your, just your, me. That's your uh, activity? Just me and some of the... Uh, okay. But uh, the, uh, the Credit Valley Conservation has the Youth uh, Conservation Youth uh, Program, which is on the back of my T-shirt, Okay. Uh, where they have uh, high school students who are putting in their 40 hours of community service. Yes. Uh, I've taken them out and we've built garbage kiosks uh, along the river, uh, and uh, we uh, do electrofishing uh, to monitor uh, the types of fish that are available in, in the river. And then after all that hard work, they do tree planting as well. Mm -hmm. Then after that, if we have some time, I show them how to tie a fly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, our club has uh, fishing rods, so we use their fly and we go fishing. And, and some of the kids have never done anything like that before. Sure. I'll never forget, at Bell Fountain, yes. last year, a girl caught a nice big trout, and I, you could hear her scream for at least five kilometers. <laughs> I caught a fish! What do I do now? <laughs> what do I do with that? Yeah. 
So, Pat, you Great. have, uh, this is a wonderful part of your life in the sense as a retiree, you can pick and choose the things that you're going to be doing and where you're going to give your time. How do you make choices about the volunteer organizations that you choose to participate with? Well, uh, if, if it's uh, something related to conservation, mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I think that's, that's helpful. We, we have to pay attention to what we're doing to the environment. Yes. And the key thing is, is uh, teaching the kids about that. Uh, so if it's conservation related, I, I, I prefer it. The other aspect is, is having fun with it, you know, enjoy mm -hmm. working with mm -hmm. the kids. And is there any experience that really sticks out in your memory? I mean, you just talked about that young girl catching a fish and not knowing what to do next. Are there other examples that you've experienced? Uh, yeah, working with the uh, ranger crew, uh, putting up a, uh, a chimney swift tower, mm -hmm. which is something will stick in my mind. Now that is a giant bird house. Yes. Like it's about 14 inches wide and 15 feet high. Wow. It's a fake chimney. Uh, that was a big project. That, that's that, a large that's project. That's going to stick in my yeah. uh, mind. And do you think it's important to keep working after you retire? Uh, well, for me, it, it's kind of vital. Like, what would I do? Sit in front of a TV? And, watch Channel 10 all the time? <laughs> Some of the time, maybe, maybe not all, all the time. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, very important. It, it, uh, uh, there, there, you, you get exercise doing the, uh, uh, these things, mm -hmm. planting trees, mm -hmm. electrofishing, and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd rather do that than pay a, a, a gym uh, to do a similar kind mm -hmm. of exercise mm -hmm. uh, uh, programming. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you have to continue uh, the exercises, uh, you have to continue uh, being active. And th there's been studies that have shown that people who uh, volunteer tend to live longer. Yes. So I just hope CBC and the other organization <laughs> keep you busy enough, okay. long enough. Well, you're looking, you're looking great and you're obviously keeping very active. So if I could turn to Betty as a volunteer as, as well, and, and I know that you have some different experiences to share with us today, Betty. My first question to you is, how did you come to be involved with the CNIB or the Canadian National Institute for the Blind? Well, my mother had uh, macular degeneration, and um, I just found out it was such a debilitating